If you're new to using an Expedition stove system like this, here's a few simple tips to help you get set up and use the stove as safely as possible. First of all, just unclip the strap and start taking off the various components. This stove is all uh, packed together neatly like this. Various different pans nestle inside each other. You'll end up with these two components. So these are the windshield. This is the lower windshield and this is the upper windshield which will connect on top. But firstly, you want to get your burner which will uh, fit neatly into this hole. If you're using a gas burner, it'll come in this little orange bag. You're gonna take out the gas burner. This is very, very simple to connect the gas burner to this endurance stove. Simply thread the cable through the middle hole there, and this will simply come through this metal archway and lay through there. Take your gas canister, Firstly, just checking that this is switched off. And just turn the canister, thread it on so it's nicely sealed. This then is the upper windshield, which will connect on to the lower like this. What this means is in windy conditions, the stove can still burn um, and not be affected too much by the wind. To light the gas burner within your stove, the safest way actually is to remove the upper windshield first. You then turn your gas just low to start with. And there you have it there. You then obviously need to carefully put the upper windshield over onto the stove. There will be a pan handle also inside this orange pouch. These three pan supports here support either the fry pan or either of the saucepans. So if we take the, the fry pan, that can just be simply sat on top like this. Alternatively, to use any of the saucepans, we need to flick the pan supports in. If the stove is burning, this could be warm or hot. So we'll just uh, flick these in with the handle is an ideal tool for that. Taking the saucepan, it's neatly like that. While your food is cooking or the water is boiling, you can also use the fry pan as a lid on top of the saucepan. This will obviously reduce the amount of heat loss and speed up your cooking. Some stoves come with a kettle like this as an optional extra. This can be sat onto the pan supports simply like that as another option for boiling water. Here are three of the most common ways which groups cook on a stove like this. You can either boil water for your hot drinks or to cook in. Simply pour your water straight into your saucepan and boil it that way. Some groups bring pre-packed expedition foods like this. Now this pouch is designed to be popped into the boiling water, into the hot water, and it cooks. After a few minutes, you can then open the pack and eat directly from the pack. Alternatively, some foods like this, it's a brand called Adventure Food, this is a freeze-dried meal. And the idea of this pouch is that once your water is boiled, you pour your water directly into the pouch, up to the specified line, and seal it. That is then cooking, and after however many minutes it specifies, you then unseal it and again eat it straight from the pouch. Alternatively, you can obviously cook whichever food you like directly on one of the pans.